The general tone of today's video is quite a serious one, so I thought to complement that well, I would cosplay as a Mega Bloks character. I just picked up this shirt and everyone was mocking me saying I looked like a Roblox man because it, I guess it doesn't have creases and it's very weirdly angled. So I thought I'd uh, start with that one. Also, uh, Mail Call, this is pretty exciting. I bagged this Floodgate Firefight on eBay for $20, well, $22. And um, it's opened, and I think it's entirely complete. I just bought it really quickly when it came on eBay, just took a gamble, and uh, yeah, we got both of the flood figures, baby, like, we're good. I don't even know it'll focus now, because it's on eye detection. Um, yeah, so pretty cool haul, a floodgate firefight, and uh, I spent yesterday putting together this nice little poster of the Halo Championship series in uh, London. And I have two of these flyers left. If you'd love to win an A5 poster from that event, just comment anything down below, literally whatever you want. I'll pick two winners and I'll post them to you free of charge. So it's been a funny uh, kind of couple of months for me in so many different ways. And I hope this video just reaches literally as many as possible. I would like it to be viewed by everybody that has connected with this channel before, with Mega and with Mattel as well, because um, quite a few serious things have happened in the last couple of months. Um, and you already know about them. I've already talked about uh, the, the main two at length, really the only two. And uh, that is the complete shutdown and removal of megaconstructs.com and megaunbox.com. Um, if, uh, who are not initiated, megaconstructs.com was the entire catalog, the entire back catalog of Halo Mega Blocks Constructs products, categorized by year, by type, by faction, by character. With, uh, you know, it was, there were missing pieces in the catalog, but it was so comprehensive and so wonderful for fans and had a PDF of every single set. And the second website was megaunbox.com, which was the community forums. And they both um, have been completely, not just deleted from the internet, but purged from the internet. When megaconstructs.com went down, we not only lost megaconstructs.com, this incredible archive, of the last 15 years of our lives, we also lost every single asset, PNG, PDF, everything that was in there. And while since that video released, I've you know reached out in a couple of videos and we've had an amazing uh, pour in from the community bringing us entire like Excel documents filled with every set. Um, someone had a drop uh, OneDrive or whatever of every single PDF and the community has been awesome. But the amount of hours that it would take to build a community-based archive, which we are trying to do, the Janus Key Project alongside a couple of other websites are doing some amazing work for archiving, but getting to the point, realistically, we've been going at it all year, um, particularly the Janus Key Project, uh, just tireless work, but um, we're getting to the point, I think, where we're realizing that it is basically physically impossible for the fans to build up a equivalent of megaconstructs.com that was so comprehensive and complete. It would take, in my best estimates, um, well over a thousand hours, if not 2000 hours, because you're talking about 15 years of Mega Blocks employees um, putting their time and passion into creating this website. You're talking, you know, when I went to Mega's office in July, I, I met, you know, the guy who writes most of the descriptions for all of the Halo Mega products. Um, you know, I talked to the packaging designer. I talked to a guy who's been modeling Halo Mega Blocks figures for 20 years, uh, 15 years, um, but been working at the studio for 20 years. Like there's so many employees there that have been working at the studio for uh, between 20 and 30 years, um, there was one guy in particular, um, Michelle, and he showed me the original prototype of the Forward Unto Dawn and the original prototype of the Scarab. Two videos that um, just haven't released and um, there are there are a lot more. Um, and you know, it's a complicated thing working with a company, um, but that guy, Michelle, had been making products at Mega for 30 years. And um, 
with one click, really, um, dozens and dozens and dozens of people's uh, almost life work is is taken offline. And um, the community's access to everything. And um, I have always been a, 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 a deep supporter of Mega and of Mattel. Um, I am truly so, so grateful for the opportunities they have provided me. And we have a new contract and we're going forward and I'm making videos for their Instagram and it's a, it's a beautiful partnership, but, and you know, I'm so grateful for it, but I, 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 um, I don't put the blame on, um, anyone in particular or any company. And I do not want the comments section of this video with speculation. I don't want it. Right. Um, I don't want to complain um, about this, but um, to have been making videos, uh, I've now over, uh, I think it's almost 1600 videos um, for, for 12 and a half years and to um, have been collecting these products for 15 years and to um, see the website that you have accessed you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times, um, just deleted. It's, um, it, it's something that's actually quite hard to process. Um, and something that I just, uh, I'm afraid to say, I, I think is, is fundamentally unacceptable. Um, and again, I don't put a blame on anyone in particular because, these things are incredibly complicated decisions, and I don't think um, the true weight of it, like, was clear for anyone. But the archiving work I'm doing now is practically impossible because, yeah, we've got people that have come forward with 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 one drives of every file, but it's not. It's not like just going to megaconstructs.com and just downloading an asset you need. It is infinitely, well, not infinitely, it's a lot more difficult. It's a lot more difficult. And the same goes for YouTube. I'm right now producing the greatest videos I've ever produced, like hands down, the production value, the attention to detail, the fact that I literally just release one or two a week and just put everything into those projects. Um, they're the greatest videos I could have ever dreamed of making when I was a kid. Um, and assets are so, so difficult to find because I can't go to a OneDrive every time I need an, uh, an asset and scrape through, especially when things won't be labeled correctly and there'll be hundreds of different assets in different folders. It's just not the same. And I, st I don't have access to that right now. I'm on my own. Um, so or I am getting every single asset for any video or any uh, blog post or anything. I am getting that asset from like an eBay listing or an Amazon listing um, that could be deleted at any moment if it's just if it's just taken off um, the product page for the seller. So um, I'm just like, I'm honestly um, so scared that um, everything I've done, um, it, like the, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a firm believer that YouTube is an art form and video making is an art form. Um, and um, it, it is like, it's my life work at this point. Um, and it's my job and it's, it, it, it's, it's my, all my communities that I manage and all the events I go to, like it is everything to me. Um, and if, you know, if, if Halo Mega, got cancelled one day. I don't have any evidence that it will or is, but if Halo Mega got cancelled one day, um, I think I'd still process that better than the website being deleted. Because if if Halo Mega's cancelled because sales are down, which I, I, I fundamentally believe could be turned around, and I can get into that in a lot more detail, but um, to, to, to know that the line got cancelled... 
um, at least there's a lot of reasoning behind it. Maybe things could have been done better. I don't know, but there's a lot of reasoning behind it. It's it's a very logical thing to understand. But for me, um, the the deletion of the entire archive of 15 years, um, while I would like to give a benefit of the doubt and say the true weight of this was not measured and something can be done about it, but the the deletion of the entire archive is just brutal like it it's not and i don't want to put the blame on anyone at the company i know i'm dancing around this but i want to because i like they're an employer and i'm a public speaker essentially on the internet i want to show them respect and i have a lot of respect for the company but the deletion of an archive of uh, of 15 years of products, it, it, it has to be reversed, like, immediately. Um, and I, I've thought about, because I've been, like, sort of thinking about what I want to say in this video for days and days, weeks and weeks, really. But um, I think what I'm trying to say in all of this is um, I kind of have to large requests for Mega and in part Mattel and I am so sorry if I've overstepped my boundaries in any way but I literally cannot see this community die because there's no archive of all the information like you don't but you don't understand the ripple effects that it has on a community when they can't access the inf information like when a kid buys a box of bricks and he can't find find out what this is and yeah like we can make a community archive it won't get the same seo search engine optimization so people won't be able to find it as easy like that doesn't happen and even if it does we the community would have pulled in thousand to two thousand hours of work for free when it already existed And, uh, you know, if a kid finds a bag of bricks and um, in it is a, let's say, um, what's a good one to go for? This original Arbiter. I mean, yeah, that's a, that's a figure that's in a lot of sets. But if this original Arbiter from the Phantom, I mean, uh, it's in a very commonly known set. Anyway, um, if this Arbiter was found in a bag of bricks and there was no history to it, no way to understand... Um, not only what set it came in, but also the wave from that year and every other appearance of the Arbiter and why it's got a purple energy sword and like how many other purple energy swords are out there. Well, can I collect all the colored energy swords? Newsflash, you can't because all the information is gone. <laughs> like... Huh, <sighs> so, um, my, my two requests, um... I understand that the forum came to an end, right? If the traffic was low, so be it. That is okay. Um, there are other social media apps and safe spaces like on uh, on like um, Facebook groups and Discord and whatever that you can go to. But you need to just put the um, forum, megaunbox.com, back up for like a month. A year would be great, but like a month, even a week, so we can scrape the data we need for the archive, and we can save, this is the main thing that's been lost, I feel, every single post from a mega staff, Kevin MCX or Jan MCX, with a preview or a prototype or a behind the scenes, we we lost all that information when the forum died. So um, that is the request number one. The forum is put up just for like a month, so we can take the information we need for the archive and be on our merry way. The second request, and I don't really understand how there's any movement on this, is the megaconstructs.com website has to come back, has to be reinstated, and that can either be as an archival website, like with clear text on it saying this is an archive between these years, or... Um, the entire thing transferred, although I don't think that would ever happen. That's like incredibly confidential, but like something really that just brings that megaconstructs.com back because we can't have discussions on like 
how a new one can be built on Mattel Creations. Maybe that website is in, is is migrated into an archival part of Mattel Creations, but it has to come back. Like we've got nothing anymore. It is like the whole community, while the community is stronger than ever, and I think healthier than ever, the views on my channel are better than ever, but there is a massive part of the community that has been snuffed out overnight, and that is the collectors. It, it's impossible now, literally impossible to find out all the information, and that's just wrong for um, a franchise that's been going for 15 years. So, um, sorry if anyone thought this was someone else and it took them by surprise and it was quite intense, but, um, and you know, I apologize if this, this, this is a poor way to come across as someone who is working in line with the company, but like, I have to know above all else that, um, what I've been doing for the last 15 years is not just going to be snuffed out and forgotten about. And that is quite literally what has happened when mega on mega constructs.com shut down for good. So, um, bring back the Falcon sweep, <laughs> bring back megaconstructs.com and let us just scrape the data we need from megaunbox.com. I uh, really hope you've enjoyed listening. This has been Halo Boy and, um, I'll sign off with, with just something, something for people that made it to the end, you know, um, what have we got? Ah, here we go. You don't get much better than this. EVA's last stand. The packaging is just incredible. The way that that EVA Spartan, this was a set that like the Warthog's not even complete. You had to use the Rocket Hog from the AA gun to spruce that up and make it into a full Warthog. This is an EVA Spartan on his last stand. Look at those thick black lines around the character. It is so lifelike. The muzzle flares going right off to that hunter. And then the explosion in the background, maybe that's where a hunter missed. It, it's just, it really made you feel like this was an existing Halo character and he was in his last stand. Like, it just immediately feels like there's a backstory to this character. How did it get here? How is it facing off against two hunters? Oh, I, th the design of this. And then you go onto the back, light blue schematics, like it's Halo Waypoint. Like, everything felt premium here. And then, of course, upcoming sets. That drop pod is one of uh, oh, the greatest sets ever made. And the heavy weapon specialist, ODST Ambush, another character-driven story beat set. And then the actual assets from in the game. Some of the most high-quality assets I'd ever seen when I was a child. It is truly a magnificent set. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. You, uh, you all take care. And remember, Halo Megablocks is the most important thing in the world of the things that do not matter at all. Good night.